Hi, do you like lasers? Cool. What do you think happens when you shine a laser at a wall? Right. You'll see one beam. Now, take a, take a look through this film and look at some light. What do you see? Right. You see different colors. So what do you think will happen when I shine a laser through this film? Right. You see three different distinct beams. But why is that? That's because this is a diffraction film, which uh, has fine lines which uh, cause the beam to bend around each line, creating a diffraction pattern which is seen by these three dots. Now, take a look through this diffraction slide and you'll see different patterns. Each different pattern produces a different laser pattern. Now. This is because the different patterns have different line spacings. What do you think has line spacings in real life? If you guessed the CD, then you're correct. Now, grab some discs and shine the laser through them and observe what kind of diffraction pattern you get. You'll notice that with different discs, you'll get different spacing between the beams. This is because different types of discs have different line spacings. As you can see in this picture, a CD, which carries very little information, has very wide line spacings. As we go to a DVD, which has tighter line spacings, we carry more information until we get to Blu-ray discs, which has very fine uh, line spacings. Scientists have been using diffraction patterns to analyze materials such as crystals. Typically what they'll use is a diffractometer which looks similar to this. It uses x-rays to create a diffraction pattern of crystals. This was used to determine the crystal structure of DNA.